want it's LJ and it's time for music in the mail. Stuff that originated in one room now lands in another and travels via your friendly mail carrier. First, and there's a few things here, is a trade with Amber. Amber is a star in the vinyl community. And this is something that she had won in another vinyl community members contest and something that maybe it wasn't just her or maybe I just pestered it enough to make it mine. And that is Judas Priest's Nostradamus vinyl box set. Amber won this in Colin Medicine Horses contest. Now I vowed to Colin at the time, if my entry wasn't one of the winning entries and I didn't end up with this, I would pry it from whoever did. So as I saw Amber had won it, I initiated a thread with Amber and started talking to her a ways back and I think she wasn't ready to let it go at the time and we've kind of talked over the months that have followed. And finally I was able to up the ante enough to provide Amber with some things that she would definitely enjoy and get this to come across the country into my music room. And so here it is. And so here's a nice note that Amber included. Thank you, Amber. And a sticker as well, which was very cool. Uh, the box set, much like the other Nostradamus releases, did have the chemical reaction on the vinyl that caused the problem with the, uh, the black luster or the sheen on the vinyl to be eaten away by the plastic sleeves that they came in just an epic legendary hallmark screw up on the part of the record company. So Amber replaced them with these sleeves. Still a very nice release. It does affect sound quality a little bit, uh, but definitely still listenable. And since this is the only Priest album I did not have in my vinyl collection, it was an absolute must. Comes with a full poster. And what's cool about this is although it's something that Amber won, it kind of just made it from one vinyl community member collection to another. So Colin, if you're watching, I hope that's cool with you. It's here, it's safe, I love it. And Amber, I hope you're digging the stuff that I sent you in return. Uh, it also comes with the book, if you're familiar with the set. It comes with two CDs, uh, which I took out of the book and put into protective sleeves. And then it comes with the, uh, the hardbound full color book, which is just awesome. So overall, regardless of uh, you know what happened to the vinyl, and maybe my thoughts would be better if I had paid full price for it when it came out, and this is one that I just missed when it came out. It's just that simple. I just didn't get my hands on it in time. But it was the only Priest vinyl release that I was missing, so I'm super happy to add it in Amber. Thank you so much. Again, I really hope you dig the stuff that I sent you. Next, out of the blue, I got a message from another vinyl community member, Rob. Rob goes by the moniker of Fraudum. He does not make videos, although one of these days, Rob, I will convince you to turn that camera around on you and hit the record button. It's not that hard. But Rob mentioned he had a book that he wanted to send me. Okay, fine, that was cool. What I wasn't expecting to show off was Pop-Off's brand new book, Hair Metal. The big book of hair metal. This blew me away. Immediately when I found out Pop-Off would be releasing this, it was on my radar straight away. I could not wait to get my hands on a copy and I was just about to pull the trigger on it and then this showed up in the mail. So thankfully I didn't, but Rob, thank you so much. This is just awesome. Thank you for thinking of me. I know you have a copy for yourself as well. And I mean, Pop-Off just has the coolest job on earth. Whether it's writing books about Megadeth or Dio or Judas Priest or culling information across the decades to write a book about hair metal or write reviews. I don't always agree with Pop-Off's reviews. And sometimes I try to seek out the albums that he tends to hate the most because I tend to like them the most. But regardless, I definitely was not expecting this. Rob, I'll have a package in the mail to you at some point this week, waiting for one more thing. It'll be on its way to you, and I hope you dig it just as much. But Rob, this was absolutely awesome, and it will be treasured as part of my collection forever. Thank you so much. Last but not least, a newer cat in the vinyl community, Scott Waters, sent a package. Another one. So Scott and I have already sent a couple of things to each other, trades and so forth, and Scott said he had something else that he wanted to send along. It arrived about a week ago, and last week was just one of those weeks. So while it killed me to sit here and look at it, the only right way to do it was to turn the camera on and film it. And so here it is, I'm gonna reach my hand in. I have absolutely no idea what's in here. Seems like one thing, so let's pull it out together. Wow, no clue what this is. All right, cool, we have some well-packaged CDs. Let me get into these, hang on. All right, so I'm in. Scott, well packaged. One of the first things that caught my eye was his guitar pick, and I'm not sure how well you can see that, but that looks to me like Ted Nugent's John Hancock from 2008. Scott, that is just awesome, thank you. But there's CDs in here. Uh, he had sent me a message and asked me if I had some extra jewel cases, which I do, and now I know why, so he could squeeze more in and keep the weight down. 
Uh, so the first thing he included was the absolutely awesome Navy SEAL soundtrack. And much like the Shocker soundtrack, this was just a killer rock metal soundtrack. So you have Mr. Big, Bon Jovi, Lou Graham, uh, Planet 3, Richie Havens. That is a killer soundtrack, and I did not have that. And also, one I'm not familiar with, but check out that cover. That's awesome. The band is called Flame. And I am not at all familiar with Flame, so I cannot wait to check that out. And if you are, and you dig them, leave me a comment. Let me know what tracks to look out for. Here's another one I'm not familiar with, and it's called Shades of Crimson, Fallen Hero. This is from 2011. Looks like a four-song EP. And Scott's CD, Music and Memorabilia Collections, are just absolutely amazing. So if Scott sends something and he wants you to hear it, you hear it. And next up, very cool, we have Mortification. Break the Curse, 1990 through 2010. Oh, this is cool. 20th anniversary, gold edition. Mortification is a band that I'm mildly familiar with. I've definitely heard some of their material before, but I'm not overly familiar with them. And I don't believe I have, I know I don't have anything on vinyl. I may have one or two CDs. Sometimes I get them confused with another band uh, called Leviathan. I'm not sure why, but that's very cool. Another brand new sealed CD. Uh, and it has a bonus DVD, so first ever crossover concert from 1990 in Australia. Oh, Scott, that's killer. Thank you so much. Um, and I'm sorry, there is a guitar pick from Mortification in here as well. Very cool. And one more CD. Oh, Bonfire, free. Did you know what? I didn't even know Bonfire released an album in 2003. And that just goes to show you how well connected Scott is. Uh, I do have a couple other Bonfire things on vinyl, but I definitely did not have and had never seen and had no knowledge of this one. It just slipped the radar for some reason. It's on LZ Records, so I wonder if it was a, kind of a smaller imprint, limited release, but that's just fantastic. Scott, we'll definitely get something back out as a way of a thank you in the mail to you soon. Everybody, thank you for watching. Hope everyone's doing well and suffering through the heat wave right along with me. Woo. Good night. Later, y'all.